Welcome to the Animator Guild Short Film Contest 2020. I am your host, Howard Wimshurst. I'm joined by our legendary guest judges, Hyun and Astartes. I'm going to summarize the judges' uh, comments where I can. Each contestant will be sent a full written feedback for their entry by email. Uh, Astartes is very busy with his next film, so he wasn't able to leave comments on every video, but I have accounted for that when averaging the scores for each entry. Thank you so much to everyone who entered. It was, it was an amazing experience to watch through all of these entries. Remember that the top ranking entries will be uploaded individually to the Animator Guild community channel later on, so you will be able to find them there. The social media links to each animator will be linked down below. Please do check them out, follow them, send them nice messages. All right, with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. We're gonna watch through these in alphabetical order, alphabetical order of the entrance name. So first up, we have Vision from Light by Billy Wang.
What do you think, guys? I really like this one. It stood out particularly for its seamless animation, I feel, and that really kept me immersed in the story. I think it was really ambitious to tell a story with that amount of nuance and with that complexity as a silent film without any dialogue. Quite a nice emotional experience watching this film, and I can see that a lot of care has gone into it. Very thoughtful and tasteful sound design which made it very immersive. The drawing style, while simple, turned out to be quite beautiful at times. Like I especially enjoyed this shot of the sunset over the forest. Astartes comments, very nice smooth animation with good weight to it, tasteful audio and a touching story. Hyun comments, I really enjoyed this piece Billy, I'm a huge sucker for silent storytelling because it's quite difficult to tell an entire story and show that much emotion without using any kind of dialogue. So. I respected that direction. So yeah, this piece did very well overall on uh, across a, a variety of different uh, categories. The categories that we're scoring each of these films in is art, animation, originality, and entertainment. So those are the four things that we're really looking out for. This is a, a graph that represents kind of where, where we ranked it in terms of that. So you can see here that it was ranked very strongly for its animation, especially. Um, that was the, the real standout to me was its animation. Next up, we have Silence by Daniel Sidaway.
So I, I really like this one. I like the unexpected turn. It kind of halfway through, it switches from one, from, from a story we're all quite familiar with, a sort of cliche high school experience. And then it just changes it up into this horror film. That was, I wasn't expecting that. I love the colors in it and the design aesthetic, the sort of, uh, it feels a little bit manga inspired. And oh, those eyes that appear out of the darkness and the pupils do that thing, that was, that was pretty scary. <laughs> This scored especially high in the art category for me. Astartus comments, good visual storytelling with nice layouts and lighting. Dig the old school four to three ratio. Wasn't expecting that ending. Hyun comments, this was a very powerful animation in my opinion. It's difficult to do a good horror genre that actually affects me in a way. And I feel like you did a very good job and pulled it off quite well. Very well put, Hyun. I couldn't have said it better myself. For the next entry, this is In a Wheat Field Is Your Tomb by Duty Alpha. Please enjoy. Oh, I'm so Im I'm so impressed with this one. I love this story. Just really a uh, really nice story. Very thought-provoking. A solid, well-delivered story that really made me think. And to bring love onto the battlefield with you and bring those kind of emotions that makes a soldier weak. And 
Yeah, I just love that tension in the last showdown where he's, you can feel that inner battle within the soldier and um, it's a great tragic story. I, th I think it was very well designed, I really liked it. As simplistic as the visuals are, they were very consistent and they, they were good for telling the story. This animation scored particularly strongly in the originality category. Really, I just wanted the scores to reflect how good I thought the story was, you know. I, I often rank good stories highly in originality and entertainment. Astartes comments, Nice short story and well told. Some lovely landscape cinematography and clever shot layouts. Hyun comments, this piece was actually quite powerful in its message. I feel like actual soldiers in war could experience these very real thoughts and decisions in the field. I could really feel the weight of the soldier's thoughts and decision making when he was about to take the shot and couldn't. All right, so next up we have Marooned by Dixon Sawyer Onbati. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I didn't.
I really like with this one how the story started out kind of normal and then just got stranger and stranger and stranger as it went on. Hyun comments, not going to lie, this was pretty crazy trippy adventure. <laughs> I actually found myself enjoying this quite a bit just to see what the simple character would wind himself into next. The judges are pretty much in agreement with this one that this scored highly in originality because uh, it was just kind of like, we don't know what's going to happen next. Anything could happen. This next piece is Capital by Diego Capucio. I found this to be a very visually pleasing music video. Um, some great animation in there and really nice artwork. A starter's comments. 
Cool idea to go with a music video, striking visuals and motion graphics. Yeah, it is actually the only music video we had, I think, in this, uh, in this collection. Hyun comments, pulling off a music video was very interesting direction and I actually really enjoyed it. There were some really dynamic shots in this and there was some that impressed me quite a lot. So this entry scored highly across the board. Uh, I thought it was a very strong all round entry. Artwork and animation scored particularly highly here. Next up we have You're So Brave by Edalia Day. When I left the house this morning, I didn't realize how tough today was going to be. Fresh pasta? Or dried pasta? This one tastes better. But will I eat it in time? And does it taste better or does it just taste different? Life is hard. The stairs. You get used to it. Excuse me? Is this yours? No. And the loneliness. Mine. Yours. Yours. Mine. So it took me quite a while to come around to this one and to figure it out, I guess. But I really came to appreciate it the more I watched it. It sets a different pace to the others. I like the dissonance between what we are seeing and what we are being told by the narrator in each of the three scenes. It's a sort of self-mocking sarcasm that the character has about their own life. Or that's at least how I interpreted it. Hyun comments, very interesting piece to say the least. Yeah, I, I would say it's interesting. I would say it's a very interesting piece um, and quite different to the other ones in this contest. Here's the score chart. The, uh, the animation brought in the most points in its originality. Next up, we have Deep Down Within by Anosi Emmanuel Kuhn. The arena of our souls. We face all fears and worries. Doubts begin right within, panting desperately, seeking tranquility. Then it gets even worse. Our greatest fears arise. But I hear a voice within, I am with you. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us.
nice experimentation here and some visuals that really stuck with me you know i can remember them they kind of stuck with me in my head like the eye wide open i think it was very some shots like that were really nicely rendered and i can see you're experimenting a lot with the different mediums it starts off in sort of rotoscope thing and then it goes to full 3d and at one point it's like 2d on top of 3d so it's nice that you're experimenting with all these different mediums Hyun comments, there were some nice camera movements, there were some really nice lighting and effects, and some of the close-up shots were done very well. So yes, probably no surprise here, it scored very highly for its visuals. Okay, next up we have Thank You, Goodbye by Gordana D, or known online as Yushin7.
Wow, so wow, so you captured a really subjective personal struggle here and I got to admire you for that. And I I just found the whole experience to be visually gorgeous and very very sentimental, uh evoked kind of nostalgia in me and uh and yeah, the artwork here has to be praised like the level of uh detail and just the beauty you found in each of these shots it, it it's really it's really special i think i think this entry is really special so uh, i can tell you've worked very hard on it and i just want to say well done it, it's fantastic so we got high scores across the board here we i just gave us you know the highest score out of all the entries for for the artwork especially i just felt like it needed to be praised in that and and i think the other judges agree with me about that a starters comments very nice heartfelt story great shot layouts and colors light and lighting with nice artwork hyun comments i really loved that art style of both the characters and backgrounds pretty much a very solid foundation in both drawing and painting helps bring out the beauty in this piece okay next up we have plague by james dixon enjoy So I thought this was nothing short of spectacular. I love that idea of the plague being personified as these massive carnivorous rats. 
Strong parallels, I guess, with what we are currently going through as a civilization right now with the coronavirus, um, which I think some people can like relate to now. But even outside of that, I just think it's a superb idea for a story. And everyone loves a good battle, right? Especially when it's against these crazy monsters, these crazy shadow monsters. The, the art style, the design choices, it all supported the central story at the core of this animation and that's why I think this is such a strong entry. And it's just an experience watching this. There's so much to be found in it. Like, you, we've got the great story, we've got the plot twists, we've got the action scenes that everyone loves, that kind of, uh, that crazy choreography and camera movement. There's something for everyone in this. It's no wonder that this one scored very high across the board. All four categories, it smashed them. Astartes comments, very cool grim dark setting and style. Some slick fighting with good impact and timing. Hyun comments, what a great animation. I loved the style of this piece on how you used bold lines and brush strokes to get dirty and grungy feeling of the animation. The action sequence really impressed me and the consistent art and animation style made this feel like a very well put together piece. I gave it especially a uh, big standout on the entertainment because it just delivered a great story. It kept you in that experience the whole way. You know, I was rooted to my seat. I, I was enjoying it, you know. I was able to follow along the whole time. I didn't need to rewatch it, although I did, but I didn't need to rewatch it to understand what it was all about. So, well done. I really like that one. Next up, we have Catharsis by Julia Helu. I was 14. I just found out that heart disease ran in the family, and me being overweight at the time added on to the risk of having it. I was a kid. This was the first time I encountered the concept of death. I remember waking up in the middle of the night, feeling like I could barely breathe. It was like I was drowning. I ran to my parents' room, waking my dad up in a frenzy. He sat with me for the rest of that night. I thought that would be the last time. And things were okay for a while. I had 16, lost weight, and was doing great in school. It was conventionally perfect. I went through the same attack after the pressure of being this image of perfection got to me. It happened again. I was 18. I had a great relationship with my family and an amazing boyfriend. I remember the call we were having. I admitted I was self-overdosing on my medication for the sake of losing weight. I had one last week overwhelmed with the distance between everyone and just not feeling anything anymore. It's like I lost a piece of myself when I was 14. I know I joke about being born stressed, but it's, I guess it's more true than I thought. So yeah, this one, a lot more sobering in its style. Uh, kept to a very simplified black and white aesthetic and yeah I hope that this one has a happy ending it did feel a little bit to me like it was cut uh, like it was cut short like I was like wait wait a second I, I want to know what happens next you know I want to know if this ends well I really hope it does it's obviously autobiographical the character is talking directly at you as if you're like a friend that uh, she's confiding in and uh, yeah that was uh, that was quite nice and um, quite interesting you know and I think a lot of people who are going through similar things with uh, with those kind of uh, those kind of inner battles can relate to this and maybe find something in it that they can learn about you and about themselves. Astartes comments, very well put together piece all round with effective art and good timing. Hyun comments, a really good animation in my opinion. The tone of the animation is set very well and the design decisions you went with really took your narrative to another level. Judges scoring was quite mixed for this one. Hyun gave it the standout for artwork, praising the design decisions behind it. But Astartes gave it the standout mark with originality. I have seen some animations like this. I've even made an animation a bit like this, but it is the only one of its kind, I think, in this 
contest. So it is original in that way. So I also kind of responded to that and reflected that in the originality score. All right, on to the next one. We have Slice of Life by KD20. April 13th, 1743, July 4th, 1826, was an American state uh, statesman, diplomat, and the third president of the United States from 1801 to 1809. Pre previously, he had served as the second vice president of the United States from 1797 to 1801. The principal author of the Declaration of Independence, Jefferson was a prop Thank proponent. You, Eddie. You've done a great job reading that article. Demetrius, is your to Well, would you look at that? All right, class, it's time for lunch. Let's gather up in a single file line. We'll resume when we get back. I wonder if that girl you hang out with all the time is going to be there. <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe. Why? Oh, nothing, yo. Nothing at all. Uh-huh. You see, Demetrius, I'm the type of boy to go up to the girl I'm interested in. So, go on. Eddie? Eddie! Huh? Oh, yeah. And I just shoot my shot on the spot. There are no awkward or weird moments. I just have a nice little convo, get the digits, and that's all it takes. You get me? Yeah. So back in class, you were talking about Elena, and you're trying to talk to her, correct? What? Elena? <laughs> Who is that? I know no Elena you speak of, man. I mean, that's the girl who I hang out with all the time. That's who you're referring to, right? No. <laughs> Boy, that doesn't even make any sense. She's practically the only one I hang out with out of all girls in this school. You know, I saw a fish with elbows. What? What? Boy, quit playing! Whoa, who is... <laughs> huh. <laughs> Elena. <laughs> Hey, Katie. How'd you figure? Your hands are always cold. It's not my fault. My teacher always has the air conditioner on. No, no, I can't blame you. They always have it cold in class. Hey there, gorgeous. How you today? Why don't you come over here and sit down next to a true gentleman like myself? With your big, brown, beautiful <laughs> eyes, long, black, shiny hair, and soft voice. I don't see how Demetrius could handle those gorgeous eyes staring right back into his. Why don't you lock eyes with mine instead, princess? Wait, she heard me? This girl has telepathy! Hey, Eddie. Um, Eddie? Yo, you all right? Bruh, it's like as soon as this girl locked eyes with me, I... I I've been turning to stone as if I've been staring into the eyes of Medusa. Is he okay? Did I do something wrong? Nah, nah, you're doing nothing wrong at all. I'm sure he's fine. That's it! I'm gonna break free from this spell she's cast upon me! Here I go! Hey there, don't you look 
lovely today. Aw, thank you. Yes, Eddie. You got her right on the hook. Now to reel her in and she'll be yours. That's one point for you. And you have her right where you want her. And she'll know the true meaning of a gentleman. And then I'll have her right into my arms like the princess she is. And there he goes, staring off into space again. Well, at least everything turned out okay. For a moment there, I was just worried for a bit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I guess he just zones out sometimes, but it's cool though. Dang! Hey there, Leia. What you doing sitting over there? I wanted you to sit with me today, remember? Oh, hey Ursa. Sorry, but maybe next time. I tend to forget, you know? Oh, okay, that's cool. Try not to forget next time. Especially by sitting with these two losers. Hey, look at me. Why are you over here? Looking like... Nah, I ain't about to start. Um, because I can? That's my sister. And I want her to sit with me. Got a problem with that? And what do you have to say about me, huh? Say it! I dare you! Nah, I'll pass. I wouldn't want you spitting tiny bits of acid in my eye. I'm surprised your flats would even survive your acid feet. What? Why you? Hey! Get this thing off me, Rick! Help! 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 So I feel like that was a really nice change of pace. Um, I really enjoyed just watching that little scene play out. Um, kind of took some of the tension away from some of the other, uh, from the other entries that we've been seeing. And I felt kind of nostalgic for it, you know? It brought me back to the days in school where I'd be at the canteen and wondering which seat, which, uh, which table to sit at for lunch. Uh, yeah, very nostalgic about that. And that inner monologue of the character really made me laugh. Hyun comments, I think this piece took a different approach to animation when it comes to storytelling, and that is using more dialogue and voice acting to tell a day in the life of a few school students. There were some good moments here, and the actual voice acting for the main characters was done pretty well. So I enjoyed the humour for this one, um, so I gave it a standout mark in entertainment. Meanwhile, Hyun gave this animation a lot of credit for its for its thorough art style with the fully rendered characters with shading and, and fully colored with shading and everything. And the graph that you can see is kind of like an average collection of um, when we put the judges scores together, what it averages out as um, across the different categories. This next one is called The Price of Wings by Keira English. Already, I love that title. I think that's a really cool title. All right, anyway. Let's play it. Please, 
I'm not staying. <laughs> <laughs> is the freedom my legs bought So this feels like a very universal metaphor that I can relate to. Like it made me think, what would make my life better if I had the courage to do it? Astartes comments, fun art direction for animation and cool short story. Hyun comments, the concept of this animation was nice and I really liked the facial expressions of the character. She was very expressive and sold the feelings of the character. And all the judges gave this submission a lot of points in originality we really loved the story and the ideas within the story next film we have a filled locker by mott Wow, so I love this entry and Mott, I think this was an excellent vessel to showcase your skills in animation, uh, the sketchy style and things, you're really playing to your strengths with this one. And I like how you pushed the idea, you kind of pushed it to its extreme where the whole world is filled with these books. I think that was great that you just saw how far you could go with it. Astartes comments, clever and dynamic action. Yeah, he is a man of few words. <laughs> Hyun comments, I actually 
found this animation so good. I can feel for you when you were animating all those books frame by frame, and it's something that I really can appreciate knowing how long that could have taken you. Yeah. The overall concept of the animation was pretty simple, but refreshingly done. So this one pulled in scores across all of the categories. Again, it's a very strong all round entry, I think but especially in the animation category. And as Mott is playing to his strengths, he uh, he is he's very good with this kind of fluid animation. He's got a real grasp for those kind of, uh, the, the feel of the animation, the timing and spacing and things. So I wanted him to be a category winner for animation, but the other judges had different plans and they scored him highly for originality because the story was really strong in this, you know, it was simple but effective story. And one that I think we can, a lot of us can relate to, you know, in school when, we, when we've got so much of this coursework and homework and stuff, and it does feel like just this never ending pile of work. I think we can all relate to that. So the next up is Eye for an Eye by Philip Gordau, also known as Jellyfish Arts. Enjoy. Wow, that was a wacky ride. I gotta admit, the sound did put me off a little bit. I think it might have done better with with sound effects and things and less of that just like, just like drilling into my brain. On second and third viewing for me, I caught more of the story and more of the comedy. And I started to really appreciate some moments in this. That was quite funny. Like the way he landed and then just sort of did this wave of his arm, like, yes, I did that. 
I'm pretty great, aren't I? I just landed on my feet. And of course, I've got to mention the lovely dynamic action in there, that showdown with that robot. Pretty cool stuff, I've got to say. Astartes comments, tight, consistent style with real nice, fluid, dynamic action and camera work. Hyun comments, the action choreography in this animation was very impressive and was the first thing that jumped out to me when watching this film. This was a strong entry, you know, and um, the judges were very impressed by the animation quality of this, the keyframes in there. So we all gave it the standout in animation. Next up, we have Bird of Prey by Ryan Boyko. Really like this animation, the story was communicated very well and uh, it's right up my street, you know, it's my kind of thing with the owl as the main character. I love that kind of stuff, you know, I'm a sucker for that. Astartes comments, sweet little unexpected story. Hyun comments, a take of the day in the life of an owl. Quite interesting, I would say. I liked the drawing of the owl and the birds, the detailing of the owls and their feathers with, with the shading really sold how fluffy they are, made me want to pet them. So this one stood out for originality when it came to myself and Astartes. I liked that it was told with animals and was communicated without dialogue. Hyun gave it equally high scores in, ca in the categories of animation and art. Okay, next up we have Wanderer of the Planet Parallelogram. Love that title again. <laughs> and this is by I'm so sorry, I am going to get this wrong, but it's by Nyamdi and Yale. I tried. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I can see that a lot of work has gone into this one. The design of this world and these characters is unlike any of the other submissions. And so I really like the approach that you took there. I think you were trying to cover a lot of tricky plot points without dialogue, which is hard, that's a challenge. And yeah, I just really enjoyed exploring this alien world with the character. I do feel like if we did have even, if, even if the characters just had some subtitles, it would have given a little bit of clarity that we needed when it came to the later plot points of the story. We all gave this entry particularly high scores in the art category. Astartes comments, very cool colour styling and character design. Hyun comments, the style and colours of this animation were really appealing and the first thing that I noticed when watching this animation. All the characters were very well designed and stylized, and even the backgrounds were very interesting to look at. Well done for that one. Okay, last submission in here before we go to the countdown of the winners. So this is the 2020 animation by N99.H9. Ooh, I think I got whiplash from that. It went so fast. I'm not sure what happened, but I know that it was intense. And I think at one point the world broke in half. Myself and Hyun gave this entry major kudos for going all out in the animation, being very ambitious with what it was trying to do. So animation is the category where it performed the highest. Hyun comments, this animation went from zero to 100 in just half a second, and it stayed at 100 through the entire animation. <laughs> Okay, so now you've seen all of the entries and it's time to go on to the top three winners. So here's the moment you have been waiting for. I'm gonna count down from third place. And this was close, this was really close guys. So in third place, we have Philip Gordow, AKA Jellyfish Art, with his submission, Eye for an Eye. Congratulations. I'll be in contact with you soon to send you some official Animator Guild merch. Wear it with pride. Now, it was really close between these two. Yeah, they both deserve a lot of praise. In second place, we have Gordana D, AKA Yushin7, with her amazing film, Thank You, Goodbye. <laughs> Well done. I first saw this submission being planned 
just almost a year ago when she created the animatic for this story. So she's been working on this very hard and uh, yeah, got a lot of praise for that. Uh, she managed to finish it in great style. With the competition that you have in this contest, um, that is a great achievement. And I'll be in contact with you soon, gonna send you some merch, wear it with pride. That means that in first place, we have, drum roll, James Dixon with his short film, Play. So congratulations, James. You will be sent a one-of-a-kind animated guild hoodie, a little bit like the one I'm wearing, but even cooler. Uh, it's gonna have a champion written on there. You're gonna be sent one as a prize. I will get in contact with you soon. Hopefully you'd like to uh, come on the channel and be featured. I'd love to do a little uh, Q&A with you um, about the film. I'm really happy that this film took the number one spot. In my opinion, it really deserved it. The social media links to all of the entrants are down below. Please take the time to follow them, check out their other artwork and send them some nice messages. And thank you so much to everyone who participated. I hope you all continue to grow on your journeys as artists and animators. And I hope this contest has given you some encouragement to keep going with it. Thank you so much to everyone who has tuned in to watch this. If you want to support the work that I've been doing on this YouTube channel, you can support me on Patreon and I really appreciate that. Thank you to all my Patreons, they help to make this channel keep going, keep ticking. Or you can buy yourself a hoodie or some other merch on my online store. I paid for all of the prizes out of my own funds, so I really appreciate anyone who helps me to uh, recoup the cost of this uh, contest. Lastly, please subscribe to the Animator Guild community channel. We hold animation challenges there every month, which anyone can enter, and we create video compilations of all of the submissions we get and it's really nice to look through them all and see the diversity of styles and approaches when it comes to these animations. You can also join the Animated Guild family on Discord. We have a great community of artists over there that you can talk to. I've made so many friends on the Animated Guild Discord and it's just a really nice community, a really fun place to hang out. And that's also where I communicate to you about the monthly challenges and other events that we have. And that's that, we've done it. Uh, it's over. I'll see you in the next video, goodbye. <laughs>